Hello and welcome, Dr. Tim Liptrap here, and we are in the chapter of our Principles of Finance class, Valuation of Future Cash Flows, working on a problem set for calculating effective annual rates, or EAR. As you can see in front of me, we have the stated rate, we have the number of times compounded, and what we're looking for is the effective rate. It's a, it's a relatively simple equation, so the EAR is equal to the 1 plus the APR divided by M times to the to the nth power minus 1. Okay, so let's talk about the APR. The APR is a stated rate. That's what we're looking for. The number of times compounded happens to be the M. So quarterly would be 4, monthly would be 12, semi-annually, not shown here, would be twice you know, monthly is 12, daily is 365. So it depends upon the number of times compounded in the course of one year. Remember, the time frame is a year when you do these problems. So quarterly, monthly, daily, whatever it is. All right, so the problem is this standard rate of 7%, we need to find the effective rate. We're just going to plug in the numbers here. So you've got an EAR of, let's so pull up the calculator. Here we go, the calculator. You get a 0 0.07. You, I'm going to do these first divided by 4 and it comes to be 0 0.0175 we're going to add a 1 to it as the problem has us do and then we're going to bring that to the fourth power and so we're going to get a 1.075 and let me do that one more time here so I think I, I made a mistake. 1.07 .07 divided by 4 is equal to 0.175. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 1 to that. Then I'm going to take that number and I'm going to put it to the fourth power. So it's a 1.0718 number. Then I'm going to subtract the 1 from that. And it turns out to be 0 0.07185 or 0 0.0179. You just round that up or 7.19 percent okay let me just show you that one more time I'm going to clear everything I like to press clear a number of times we have our monthly number so you take 0.08 our 8 percent divide it by 12 that's the number that's monthly so that gives us a number 0 0.006 right so then I'm going to add a 1 to that then I'm going to take that number and bring it to the 12th power And then, and you know what? I think, let me just do that again. We're going to clear all everything out here. It's the same problem. We had the same problem. We're going to divide this by 12. There we go. So now we're going to add this. We're going to go 1, 1.066. And then we're going to hit here, bring it to the 12th. And it's the 1.0829. And we're going to subtract the 1. And it's 0.829993. Now you notice what happened. I was having trouble, and I knew it just didn't make sense when I was calculating it. It just didn't look right. So I went back and I cleared it a few times and just cleared out my calculator, and it all works out. Okay, and you can just do the bottom one. 